Big game tomorrow night, semifinal. Fresno State wins if what? Take care of the ball and rebound. And for you guys, what do you feel that you guys have been doing well in postseason play that perhaps maybe was different than the regular season? Not much. I mean, we've made a few shots, but the defense wasn't quite as good as it was at the end of our conference tournament. We were playing some of the best defensive teams in the country. But we are excited to play. Our guys are getting better, and I'm happy for that. And do you think that there's been an advantage being at home and, and not having to travel as much as maybe some other teams? Do you think that's fueled you guys? It's always good to play at home. It's always good to be in Fresno. Our guys are here. They're not missing any class time. We are able to play in front of the Wed Rave, and it was great to play in front of them the last game. And as you guys head into the, this game, how do you sort of manage expectations and trying to just focus on the present? Because sometimes people get to the semi, and now they're already thinking about maybe the final. So how do you just focus on what's in front of you guys tomorrow? Uh, we've been doing that all year long. So hopefully we continue to do that. We know that the game in front of us. Nobody's looking ahead. I don't even know if the guys know who we would play if we win. You know, so we're excited to still be playing and getting better. We're excited to be here in Fresno. And Southern Utah, I don't know if you've watched any film of them yet or checked them out yet. What are some things they do that may pose a challenge to your team? They've scored a lot of points this year in their conference and in the preseason. They've had some pretty good wins, right? They're very challenging that way. They got some really good transfers. So they're very well coached. So they're going to be a tough challenge for us tomorrow night. And for you guys, uh, if you know, if all things go well tomorrow night, what's the message going to be heading into the next stage of this thing? Message is always the same. Come in here and let's get better and let's go out and compete. And with the year winding down, how do you make sure your players maintain a level of commitment and motivation? Because sometimes in postseason play, maybe guys check out, maybe guys are thinking about you know the next thing. How do you make sure that that motivation stays? We talk to them. You know, we talk to them, not at them. You know, we, we give them experiences. We gauge their effort in practice, right? So we, like anything else, our guys are ready to go, you know, and you, that's a very good question. You know, we're not playing in the NCAA tournament, which you wouldn't have to worry about that, right? If you were playing in the NCAA tournament, you would understand that the motivation is there, but we gauge how they're practicing. We talk to them and not at them, and we make sure they understand that if we're going to go play, we got to re represent Fresno State.